Before I start this video, can I first just say how nice Pulse of Joys are? They are literally a part of joy and it's great. I would just say though that I think they should be bigger. Mm. So I might have done another shopping trip on the weekend and picked up a few things. Not much, honestly. But I treated myself again, which I need to stop doing because I currently have no space in my room to put these things, which is really bad, but I just can't help myself. But at least I look nice, even if I do have to keep everything in bags. So the first thing I picked up was from Topshop, and not everything in here is from Topshop. I only actually bought one thing because I never shop in there because I just think the price is ridiculous for what they are, but... I had a birthday discount, so I had a look online and I came across a jumpsuit, which I really liked, but I wasn't sure what size it'd be because I never shop in there. So I thought I'd have a look and I found it, tried it on, loved it, so I bought it. And it's just this pretty basic jumpsuit, black and white striped, and then it's got the like wide leg, but they come to like your ankles. I'm not sure what that's called. But I'll see if I can add in a little clip of me wearing it so you know what it looks like on. And this was £26. The quality feels really, really nice. And yeah, i kind of in love with it. So that was the first thing I got and I bought it in a size 10. Next place I went was... And I picked up this, which is my first ever maxi dress, and it's just like a burnt orange colour, thin straps, and tucks you in at the waist, and then it's obviously really long. This was six pound, so I didn't mind spending that in case I don't end up wanting to wear it at least it was only six pound like you can get these for a lot dearer and it's nice and basic so with white converse and a denim jacket i think it would look really nice and easy i also picked up new pajamas well pajama bottoms because i don't feel like you can beat pre-mark pajamas especially for their prices so these were the first pair I picked up and they are just a pink pattern. These are the softest things ever. Like they feel really, really nice. Have they got pockets? No, they don't have pockets, but that's fine. And yeah, these were seven pound and I am in love with these. Like they are so nice. The next thing I bought was pyjama shorts and these were £2.50 and they just got this really nice pattern on. I like them a lot. Other pyjama bottoms I bought were these, which I think these are great. These were £5 and they've just got like a crazy pattern on again. I love that this kind of pattern and style of become a really big thing in Primark and on the pockets it's got like little pom pom -y bits so I really like those too I really don't need to buy any more pajama bottoms but I just can't help myself when I go into Primark and the final pajamas I bought were these pink and white striped ones with a nice like lace detail on the pockets and the drawstring is that what it's called i don't know but these were five pound if I, close my eyes. I think most pajama bottoms are five pound except for like the more luxurious luxurious ones like the pink ones 
And other things I bought in Primark were some sandals, which I'm not sure how my feet will cope with them yet because I can't wear sandals. My feet blister really, really easily. So the only shoes I can really wear in the summer are like certain dolly shoes or like little dainty shoes or Converse. So I picked up these and these were three pound. They're just a tan color. Because I'm going to give them a go because if I can get away with wearing these, at least there's some sort of sandals I can wear. So, we'll see. And for £3, you can't go wrong. And if I can't wear them, I'll pass them on to my mother. I picked up these little shoes, which are black. And uh, I don't know how you describe the pattern on these. I don't know, you'll have to decide for yourself. But these were £4 and... These are just obviously really simple and easy to chuck on with anything. And I also picked up these basic shoes for £4 also. And again, easy to chuck on with things. It's just when I done fancy wearing Converse, like all the time, I know I can actually cope with wearing these. So, three pairs of shoes for £11. Yeah, £11. I think you can't go wrong. You'll never, well, I don't think you can get three pairs of shoes for that price anywhere else. So, that's my excuse anyway. And the final bag I've got. So, I popped into Matalan and I went into Matalan the f probably for the first time, I think, a couple of weeks ago. And I just thought, oh, I'll have a, like, a look at the home stuff and that. But they have actually got really nice clothes. Like, the prices on them is really, really good. And, like, I'm really impressed by them. So I picked up, like, a couple of trousers and a jumpsuit the other week. So I looked in the Cardiff store, because it's not the one I went in the other week, to have a look. And I found these shorts. They're khaki green. I believe... I've taken all the tags off everything now. But I believe these are £12. But I really like them. They're just nice and basic with like a black crop top or vest top because they come quite high. Converse again. Can't go wrong. And I picked up these shorts as well from Atlan and I believe these were £10. And they're just black with white markings on them. They got this tie waist so you can like bring them in a little bit if you need to but yeah I really like these Dancing with your red dress on. it's nice to pick up some clothes other than just from New Look just to have a few different kind of like styles of things and the last thing I picked up in Matalan I love and it's this jumpsuit and I love the pattern on it it's like really nice and colourful. Um, it does look nicer on, I'll admit that. You can pull in the waist, if I can find the string. Yeah, you can pull in the waist. And then it's obviously got the long legs. And they're quite slim then at the bottom. was £12 so if you're looking for any nice summer clothes I definitely say to give Martin Lan a go the next shop I went into was Peacocks I picked up this again jumpsuit from Peacocks I believe it was £16 but it's got the thin straps that you can tighten or loosen the I, I never know what it's called, but you can like pull the waist in anyway. The long legs, slim-ish legs at the bottom. Actually, I don't know, whatever you'd want to call that. But yeah, love that. I think it's nice and summery. Last lot of things I've got for now is from H&M. 
and the first thing I bought was another maxi dress this was 13 pound I believe and it's literally as basic as you can get it's just gray it's got the stretchy waist and then it's nice and long but for 13 pound you can't go wrong and again I'm hoping to try and get into maxi dresses just for something different to wear so I'm not just wearing like shorts jumpsuits all the time so hopefully I can get into them and the other two things I got the same style and everything literally just different colors and this is a khaki green in size small jumpsuit so this, these are £13 because they're just basic. They've got a little bit of a wider strap. But yeah, I feel like you just can't go wrong with some basics. Like just to check on and they're really, really comfortable as well. So yeah, there's no point me opening this because it's exactly the same just in black. I think they've got a couple of other colours as well if you wanted to go on check them out but I just wanted to stick to those so oh and I also picked up this cap from Starbucks I think it was around £12 I'm not 100% I'm, it was around that definitely but it's just a glass and I really like these type of glasses for water and basic drink but yeah I love Starbucks drink weight and drinks they are great so I've just finished editing this video and I was gonna put the other stuff I'm waiting for in the same video but because the videos already a little bit long and it takes forever to upload videos at my house I'm gonna end this one here and do a part two video which should be up hopefully sometime within the next week depends on when my other stuff arrive so if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll try and link what I can down below if any of you are interested in buying any of these things. Subscribe if you want to be notified when my next video goes up. And I'll also leave links down below to my Tumblr, Twitter and Instagram too in case you want to go and follow me on any of those. And hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.